I'm here in the South Lincolnshire village of Cubbot, spelt Cowbit, pronounced Cubbot, I don't make the rules up. And we're here for a very special reason, a very special bird. Behind me, there is a Lammergeier, a bearded vulture, the biggest raptor in Europe. Possibly the first ever in the UK, certainly the second record. Today is the 9th of October. And this bird arrived in the country several months ago. It was seen in the south coast, and then it worked its way up through the Midlands, and then found its home in the Peak District, mainly around Derbyshire, in South Yorkshire, around June. Peak District, of course, is a mountainous region with plentiful dead sheep, which is the sort of uh, thing that a lammergeier will eat naturally. Famously, they eat just bones of, of dead mammals. When it was up in the Peak District, it had quite a short tail and fed on a diet of bones from the dead sheep up there. It's regrown that tail and once it regrew its tail, in September, it decided to drift a bit further south, maybe heading back to its natural alpine home in the Alps or maybe the Pyrenees. But it got sidetracked on the way. It went to, to Norfolk, found country which is not dissimilar to the Fenland we have around here. And having toured a little bit of Norfolk, it came near the wash at Snettisham, was lost for a few days, and then was reported over Peterborough, of all places, uh, just two days ago. Just north of Peterborough is where we are today, and nearby it roosted two nights ago. I saw it yesterday morning, and then it around this neighbourhood looking for suitable food in the fens which is possibly deer carcasses, maybe dead hares. And it found this village of cupboard, found a tree and rested there for most of the afternoon. Later in the afternoon it made its way over here just to the, uh, the edge of the village uh, looking north and there's some tall ash trees behind with a rookery in them and would you believe it the bearded vulture decided to roost on one of the nests of the rooks. Luckily, it was still here this morning when I arrived uh, before the sun rose about seven o'clock. The crowd had been gathering and we've been watching the, as the sun rose. Various rooks and crows uh, have been coming to see him. He's been preening, he's been turning his head to look up at, at the crows that have come to, to visit. Maybe the odd buzzard looking a lot more alert now, Jake. It is. It's good. It's getting ready. It's going. It's going. It's flying. It's gone the wrong way. It's flying the wrong way. Going out to the right. Going back left. That is absolutely enormous. It's got a whole entourage of a whole entourage of rooks and, and jackdaws following it. Getting a bit distant, still getting a few shots. Looks like it's heading out towards the A16, heading east. Well, what a morning. What an experience watching that enormous Lammergeier leave its roost and fly across with its great entourage of corvids. It may have gone out of sight or maybe we will be able to relocate it a little bit further down the road. But uh, whatever, it's been sensational to see a, a Lammergeier in the Peterborough area and out in the fens here. What a weird, weird, wonderful experience.